What's up, my beautiful friends? I forget what my even in, what my intro even was. Uh, my name's Michael. You're beautiful. Welcome to the Matrix. Something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I just had this thought and I wanted to share it with you guys. And I know it's loud, and my car has a uh, a loud uh, like engine idle note to it. But this is on my mind. I want to share it with you guys. So, for the longest time, ever since I started growing my hair out. I would be insecure about my hair. And I realized through this hair journey that I had never in my life been insecure about the way that I looked. And it sounds crazy because I feel like our culture places a lot of emphasis on, oh, he's attractive or she's a six or seven out of 10, but that just wasn't the environment that I was raised in. In my family, the emphasis was placed on the value that another human added to another human's life. Like, what do they stand for? Who are they? How do they make other people feel when they're around each other? Things like that. And so for me, I just never was programmed. I was never wired in such a way that I paid attention to really what other people looked like and also what other people viewed me as. I just didn't grow up thinking, oh, well, I'm a six or I'm a five. I just didn't, I just didn't think about, I never thought about whether I was attractive or if the world found my siblings attractive. I just didn't think about beauty in that way. And so as I grew my hair out, it became just a mirror in a sense for me. It was the first time in my life where I was like, wow, I don't like the way that I look. This is crazy, bro. This is literally wild. Because of course, when you're growing your hair out, if y'all have grown your hair out, you know there's an ugly phase that you go through. And so... I was, oh man, I was going through the phase and I realized like, oh my gosh, like my hair is thinning from cornrows, all these different things. And I spent like actual, like literal years just being like insecure about the way that I looked at my hair and my hairline and my hair is thinner than other people's and oh my gosh, they've got like the craziest edge up there. Like, wow, I, if only, if only, if only, all this, bro, what? The thought that I have for you guys is, bro, literally, who cares? Like, who cares? If you're in that place right now, rather than focusing on what you don't have or the things that you don't like, change that mindset and start asking yourself what that can represent. How do I redefine what that represents? So for example, in my life, like for example, on the left side, my hair is thinner on the left side than the right side. And I was like, oh, my right side is my good side, my left side is my bad side. What? No, 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 no. I don't, there is no bad side. There is no downside. There's no lesser side. You only have two sides. You only have two sides, bro. And I'm looking and it's like, yo, here's my face. Rather than getting caught up in where my hairline is, it's just, bro, there's just a face. There's, yo, there's just a face. Like, some people have more skin, some people have their more hair, like, the, the proportion, who cares, bro? Like, it actually, it actually just doesn't matter. Like, it genuinely just doesn't matter. What I want you to ask yourself is, okay, if my hair, if my hair's thinner on this side, like, what does this face represent, bro? What do people feel when they see me? What, what are people filled with? When they click on my video or they see me in public, when they see me in the workplace, like I'm out here wrapped up in these negative thoughts, dog. I'm wrapped up in these negative thoughts, putting myself down because I don't look like other people and my hairline's not this or that. Bro, but what does this face, this body, this vessel represent? What will people associate me with? It's probably not, oh, he's dusty. You know what I'm saying? It's probably not, hopefully not. Man, that's somebody I would choose to avoid or consciously choose to, yeah, run away from. What does your face represent? That's what I want you to ask yourself. What does your face represent? What are people going to feel when they see you? When they see that widow's peak? What's the legacy that you want to leave behind, bro? I need you guys to redefine, bro, because if we can't redefine the way that we see ourselves, we can't transform the way that we're living our lives. We can't manifest our highest callings. We can't manifest our full potential. You're beautiful. You're incredible. This is The Matrix. Thank you for tuning in.
I hope this made sense. I hope it resonated with even one of you. Bro, we're not perfect. I'm not perfect. I just want to when it's all said and done. Look back and be like, I used everything I was given. Every ounce of potential I was given. Every ounce of opportunity. I used it. I used it. Well done. Oh, God, to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. And if that's going to happen, I have to release the chains on my mind. And so do you. I believe in you. You're beautiful. You're incredible. I've said it three times in the video. Make this number four, five, six, whatever it is. Sometimes you got to be reminded. Keep the head up. Better times are around the way. Light and love from Dallas.